is under-exercised, their behavior can become problematic. The solution that I found that works best for me, because I don't walk and I don't run, is to run my dogs alongside of a bike. I have pretty good balance on a bike, and if you do too, you may enjoy this. The concern is, how can I prevent my dog from getting injured? Well, teach your dog to walk nicely on a leash. That's first. Then, when it comes time to biking, put your dog on a frog collar. It'll give you an extra level of control should things go awry. Next, walk your dog on the opposite side of the bike. And if your dog gets too far ahead, I don't want my dog any further ahead than mid-tire. I'm going to turn into the dog, teaching them to respect the motion of the bike. When they've got that down pat, I am ready to mount. I keep the leash in my left hand. I keep the leash as short. If my dog gets a little too far ahead, or if I see a distraction coming, I just use a little jerk of the leash. You walk your dogs at this pace, not at a gallop. hard on the dogs. Okay, now I'm going for my ride. And by the way, when you do this, heels are optional. 